As a marketing consultant and an entrepreneur, I've been looking for the perfect backpack for quite a while now. And after trying a few of them, I think I finally found the perfect one. My name is Jasper and today I want to show you what I carry with me as a marketing consultant and an entrepreneur who usually works remotely. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the bag itself. So over the years, I've tried a couple of different bags, some of them backpacks, some of them more like briefcases. Two of my favorite bags in the past that I've tried and used for quite a while are the Stuart & Lowe briefcase and also the Timbuktu messenger bag. But now since a couple of months, I've been using this new backpack here which is the Peak Design Everyday Backpack, the 30 liter version. And I must say I'm absolutely in love with this backpack. So let's first talk a little bit more about this backpack specifically. One of the things that I really love about it is the way that it's organized. So basically in the back we have a zip compartment for a laptop, a tablet and some smaller things. Then on the sides we have side pockets. Uh, which I use to either have a can of coffee in there or in this case for example my laptop stand which we will talk about later. Then also this mechanism is pretty nice because also it's deft to turn let's say. So you need to pull this to open it and then you have a big compartment at the top. And it's also magnetic so for example if you just want to close for a little bit just do it like this this and it closes magnetically. And then if you really want to close it, you pull it down and it's closed. Then last but not least, one of my most favorite parts is how it works with like compartments. It's basically like having a small cupboard in here that's also a bit flexible to set up. So for example, you can close these dividers and create like smaller compartments. So these things all together make that I really like this backpack and now we'll talk about the different things that I carry with me. In this case specifically while I'm traveling, so I'm in Portugal right now, the backpack is basically set up for travel. One of the things that I'm mostly looking for in a backpack is a pretty good hybrid between having it for business use cases, work use cases, but also creative, so having a camera bag as well. So most camera bags aren't ideal to use on a daily basis and most work bags aren't ideal to use for cameras. And I think Peak Design has pulled off a pretty good hybrid between the two, so that's that's definitely one of the, the biggest reasons why I really like this backpack. Also. I'm really a sucker for these uh, leather accents, but that's definitely also one of the things that really made me buy this backpack. So let's look at how I'm using this setup right now. We'll start at the back compartment, where the first thing we have, the biggest item, is my MacBook Pro. So this is a 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro with 30 gigabytes of RAM and also a one terabyte hard drive. I really love this laptop, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I also have a video specifically about this laptop, I'll link it on top here. As a second device, right now we have my Remarkable. This is basically the setup how I had my backpack while I was flying here as well. So that's why the Remarkable is in here, because I love this device to read on the plane. Next, I have my AirPods in a little Bellroy leather case, which I also really love. Then I also have my second phone, which is a Samsung S21 Plus. I usually like to carry both an iPhone and an Android phone with me to also keep a bit in touch with the Android landscape and see how that's evolving as well. Thumbs up, a little bit of a nerd in that regard. Then we have my passport, of course, because it was for travel and a small field notes notebook that I almost always have on me. So that's basically everything that I had in this zipper compartment at the back. So now let's just start at the top here. So first thing I have here is my Molsky notebook because I really like to write on paper sometimes, especially for notes that I want to revisit later. So this always goes to me as well. Then we also have this, I um, don't know if you can see it correctly, but we have this like secret compartment as Peak Design itself would say. What I have in there usually is a protein bar because whenever you get hungry, you need to have something to eat. 
and I think that's basically one of the more healthy options. I of course also have an AirTag in here, just in case that I forget my backpack somewhere. Fun story there, like this actually happened while I was in New York, so I was having drinks, walked away from that place for a couple of blocks, until I got a message on my Apple Watch telling me that I forgot my backpack. So I obviously ran back and luckily enough, my backpack was still there because it had basically everything in there that I'm talking about today. It would have been quite expensive if, if I had to replace all of that stuff. Then I also have some drops for my contacts and that's about it in this compartment. Now let's move to the side. First let's take this at the outside. This is the Roost laptop stand. It's a very interesting laptop stand. I really like this one because it folds up to a nice form factor and it's very easy to set up and have your laptop basically at a comfortable height for doing some longer work sessions. Then opening the side here. In this compartment right now, I just have my glasses. Usually my camera goes in this compartment as well, but since I'm recording in it right now, that's obviously not the case. Then at the lower section, I have my Bellroy tech kit, which has a couple of bank devices a Anchor 2 port USB-C charger, which is very nice if you want to charge two devices at the same time. So for example, it works perfectly fine for charging my laptop as well as, as my iPhone. Then I have a USB-C to USB-C cable that I mostly use for charging my laptop in that case, or my iPad for that matter. I also have a USB-C to lightning cable to charge my phone or even my keyboard and trackpad. Also, I don't have my keyboard and trackpad in here right now, but obviously when I'm carrying the roost stand with me, I'm also having my keyboard and my trackpad in the back as well. Then I have this little charger from Nomad, bought it a couple of years ago. Always comes in handy if you need to charge your phone and to only have like a USB-A somewhere. I also have my Apple Pencil in here for my iPad Pro. Since I don't use it that often, I don't always have it on my iPad itself. An external hard drive, Samsung T7 SSD, mostly to keep all my photo and video files. And just in case I need it, a USB-C to Ethernet adapter, because you never know when those come in handy. So that's basically what's in the bottom compartment. Now we also have the sides, so we have like a magnetic pocket at the top, which is really nice. And this one I just keep a couple of pens. The pen of my choice is a Pilot G2 in a either 07 or 05, still a bit in between. Then I also have my external battery which is a anchor battery with USB-C and USB-A ports and it's 10,000 milliamps. Next, we have a little adapter for micro SD cards and that's it for this side. Let's go to the other side of the bag. This one basically has the same two pockets here. So in here, I have my second wallet basically because this is the bigger ones. It holds everything that I don't really need on a daily basis. It's a Bellroy hide and seek. And then in the zipper pocket on this side, I have my Peak Design Cuff. This is when I'm having my camera with me. It's very easy to keep it on your wrist and have it securely attached so you don't really let it fall or anything. Then I always have some backup daily contacts. And that's it for this side. So this is basically the setup that I'm using for traveling right now. Also, it has like you can open these compartments in two ways, but it has some features to make them a bit more secure. So what I did is I attached the bottom zippers to these small latches just to make sure that it's not that easy to open them from the bottom side and from the top side I will usually notice it if someone tries to open them but I can also attach these here just in case you want to have it really secure. Another great feature is the fast screw in the back so you can easily slide this on your carry-on. Then also something that I haven't used so far here at the bottom there's also a small magnetic latch and it holds some small belts just in case that you want to strap anything on here at the outside so for example you have your jacket on but you want to take it off you can attach this to the outside of the bag and get it out of the way so that's as far as the bag goes i'll also go over my daily carry so another part of my daily carry is obviously my apple watch this is a apple watch series 6. i really love this device i mainly use it 
for the complications on there. So I can easily see when my next meeting is. I don't use the apps on there that much. I do use it a lot for Siri because you can just talk to Siri by raising your wrist and Siri will immediately listen to you. So that's one of the things that I really like about that. My phone is a iPhone 13 Pro, the blue version of it. This is an amazing device. Most of the time I don't even take my camera with me nowadays, just because the camera on this device is so great. I really love this one. Then I usually also have a Apple wallet attached to that, makes it very easy to carry just two cards with you just in case Apple Pay is not working somewhere. It doesn't happen often these days, but still can happen. Or maybe you just want to take your ID with you. And then last but not least, I also have my Bellroy Slim Sleeve. This basically holds, let's see, five cards and some notes. Had this one for a while already. Really love this wallet. It's nice minimal very slim to carry with you something that i definitely know how to appreciate in a wallet that's basically my everyday carry and my backpack that i have with me i hope you found this interesting if you have any questions just ask them in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to answer them and i'll see you in the next one bye